What's up, everyone? This is Real Hit VZ. Um, so I've been playing Eve Online recently, which is what you're looking at right now. Uh, and what I've realized as as I've been learning the game is there's really not many good resources for new players. Um, it's a very complicated game, and while there's you know a, a wiki that explains some stuff, some of it's outdated. And, uh, in general, there's so much that just a single website like that cannot efficiently explain every aspect of the game. So, I'm thinking maybe I'll do a few videos now and then, um, sort of giving very simple breakdowns of things. So, what I want to do today, there's a new event that went live yesterday, uh, Blood Harvest, which has put some new combat sites into the game that give really cool rewards and they spawn all over the galaxy so even if you're a new player uh, hanging out in high sec you can still run into them um, so I'm going to hopefully if I can find one uh, run one today and first I'm going to show you the ship I am using to do it because this is something that it, you know if you've been playing the game for a week or two you might be able to do uh, so I'm using a Vexer. It's a Galente cruiser. Uh, I assume that there are similar cruisers that would work for all the other factions, but I only play Galente. Um, and it specializes in drones. So the fit I have, uh, high slots, I have left three completely open. I probably could fit a couple guns on here if I wanted. Um, but I have... Uh, a drone link augmenter, what that does is it increases the maximum range of my drones, which is important because that's how I do all my damage. Uh, mid slots, I have two cap rechargers because this build is cap stable, and I like that. Um, and I, I also have a medium cap battery, which again helps with keeping, with staying cap stable. Uh, and then I have a an afterburner. It's a 10 MN afterburner. Um, you want to make sure when you do this, you get an afterburner, not a micro warp drive. They, I believe, are in the same part of the market tab, um, and they have the same symbol certainly for them. But the difference is afterburners do not give you as big of a speed boost or anywhere near as big of a speed boost, but Micro warp drives, when you use them, uh, take they they increase your um, signature radius, which is basically how easy your ship is to hit. Uh, the purpose of the afterburner is by moving faster, I can make things miss me or um, you know not deal as much damage, not get direct hits on me. Uh, because I, I am moving more quickly, I have a greater radial velocity. Uh, if you if you use a micro warp drive instead, then uh, you are increasing your signature radius, and so things will actually hit you more. It is self defeating. Uh, low slots. This is really where most of the the you know what makes this fit work. Uh, comes in. So, uh, Refuge Adaptive Nanoplating, that just, re uh, when they're, when they're hitting my armor, will increase my resistance to all damage types. Um, a Medium Armor Repairer, which will make that armor last a really long time. When you fit ships, you want to decide if you're tanking in shield or you're tanking in armor. This ship, I am tanking in armor. Uh, and then three Drone Damage Amplifiers which increase the damage my drones do. When you, uh, when you fit multiples of modules like this, you get diminishing returns. Um, I know I saw the numbers somewhere. I think the third one is really only giving me like 50% of its normal uh, bonus, and anything less than that starts to get really... You know, I, I definitely would not want a fourth one at all. That would do very little for me. But three... I mean, even at 50% of the normal utility, it's really good for a ship that does all its damage through drones. Uh, and then the rigs, 
Uh, you need um, special skills to equip most rigs. But I have uh, an auxiliary nano pump, which I believe increases uh, how much my armor repair repairs for. And then two Trimark armor pumps, which increase my maximum armor. So that, that all pretty much is just making me tankier, which is important because these sites deal a fair bit of damage. You're going to want to be able to, to tank some. And also, uh, in my drone bay... I have uh, nine hobgoblins and three ogres, so you, you could actually fit a tenth hobgoblin in here. Uh, so ten light drones, three heavy drones. Uh, they're all tech one. You don't have to train too long to get to them. Uh, so this, is, this really is a, a fit that you could do with only a few weeks of game time on your character. And it's really cool that you can, you can do the event site with a ship like this. So let us undock from the station and try to find one of these sites. And as soon as I undock, I see one immediately. It's called Blood Raider Gauntlet. Warp drive active. Now, there's this is very new, so a lot of people are doing them. There's two people in system with me. I see one of them is in a transport ship. Uh, just outside this station here, but the other could be doing this gauntlet already, so uh, hopefully they're not, and hopefully I don't get contested on it at all, because, I mean, my character's pretty new, I don't do that much damage, so if someone races me through the gauntlet, I'm not going to be the one who wins. Okay, no one else on the site, you warp in, you see five frigates, which... You know, you probably have run sites where you see five frigates right off the bat before. It probably doesn't seem exceptional. This is actually the most dangerous part of um, of the gauntlet. You see they're doing a lot of damage to me very quickly. I'm almost immediately turning on my armor repairer. Because I'm not shield tanked, my shield melts really fast. My drones are working on the problem, though. Uh, once I take... You know, two of them out, I should stabilize a little bit. But in, until, you know, while there's five of them, uh, I, I take damage really fast. Most of them web you. you. You can see there's one webbing me right now. And I think, like, up to four of them I've seen webbing me at once. So that slows you down so they can hit you for a lot of damage, even with your afterburner on. Um, but if you can if you can survive this room right here, often the first spawn is like the easiest to get through. But in this site, if you can survive the first five frigates, you can clear the site. Uh, it's all downhill from here. We, we're going to fight heavier ships after this, but they will not deal the same amount of damage. You you warp in right in the middle of those guys, and they hit hard. The next spawn, I'm going to have some distance on them, and there's not going to be all this crap webbing me. I'm going to uh, set an orbit on the acceleration gate. That's going to take us to the second room of the site. Now, I know the, um, the ending of this site... I know it's random in at least one case, and I've heard that maybe there's multiple different things that can happen. Um, so we'll, we'll see if we get one of the special modifications of it. I've only ever seen the, the normal thing that happens. Okay, so second wave, um, we get four frigates, one cruiser. And at this point, this is a whole lot less dangerous. Uh, the frigates are not in range to web me. I don't even know if these ones can web me. Again, you want to use your light drones for for all of the frigates. Um, if you use heavy drones, they will have a hard time hitting small ships. The cruiser, you could use your heavy drones on. But I don't think it's worth it in this uh, this wave recalling your light frigates or your light drones and sending out the heavy ones that just takes a bunch of time 
it's easier to just have light drones kill the cruiser. They won't do as much damage, but in the long run, it's faster. Uh, and the next wave, uh, th this first room has three waves. The next wave will be exactly the same as this one. I'm actually going to orbit at a closer distance, so I'm ready to jump through the acceleration gate as soon as I down all three waves. Yeah, the next wave also will be a cruiser for frigates. See, the frigates are still webbing me, and I just got the armor alarm, but that's fine. I will repair through it shortly. But yeah, uh, Tech 1 cruisers are enough to do this site, as long as you have, you know, decent skills. Okay, and the cruiser. You also get pretty good bounties from these. The frigates give you 10k, which, you know, isn't much, but the cruisers give um, 12,000, or, uh, sorry, 120,000. You see this guy's going down a lot slower. Also, I'm sorry for those who like fireworks. Um, I... As you can see, I play with the camera zoomed way out. You may also find this helpful. If you're having trouble controlling things in combat. Uh, I like keeping it zoomed out so if someone warps in on me and like, is going to like race me or something, I can see. Uh, if you're running these in low sec, you'll have an easier time finding them. But obviously you need to be a lot more careful. You know, when someone warps in, you need to either be ready to fight them off or, or warp out. Last wave here. Now I have a lot of distance on these guys. In the next room, I will be launching um, exclusively heavy drones. Uh, you see I only have three. If you have drones five, you can have five drones out at once, but uh, this ship, at least with my current skills, um, I can only have three heavy drones out at once. I only have the bandwidth to do that. But that's okay. Three heavy drones deal a lot more damage than five light drones, provided that the target is big enough for them to hit. The next room is entirely cruisers. Uh, until the very end. The final spawn normally is a battle cruiser. But again, that's an even bigger ship, so heavy drones are still useful. I see someone new just came in system. Hopefully they're not roaming searching for these sites because I am still not far enough along where I could guarantee I would win the race. I've seen other people do these and they can they can really melt these sites. As soon as he goes down, I can recall the drones and jump through the gate. In theory, I could turn off... I guess I'll turn off my afterburner. Save the power. I'm cap stable, so it doesn't matter that much. There we go. Return them to drone bay. And then we're going to jump. Okay, that other person left system. The uh, bounties from the full site should give you 
like one and a half million, maybe a little more. So first wave of this room is five cruisers. I believe there's one more wave. There's like two waves of five cruisers. And then you have the boss, if you will. So I'm just going to orbit this rear building, the Blood Raider Fortress, at 15k. Deploy my heavy drones, lock up all my targets. They should all start locking me in a second. Yep, there they are. I turn on the afterburner again. That's good because that means as long as they're shooting me, they're not shooting my drones. The heavy drones move a lot more slowly, but they hit really hard. And I should be able to repair through anything that they're going to do to me. So at this point, I kind of just wait. The, the ogres are occasionally missing. And these are much larger ships than, than frigates. If you put them on a frigate, you'll see nothing but misses. When they even can hit the frigate at all, because often... Um, and the frigate's just too fast and they can't keep up. Even with these things, sometimes they get out of range. I, I think maybe only one or two of the drones are shooting at this target. So I'm actually going to double back to help them out. Make the cruisers chase me back into my drones. And they have a hard time doing much damage to me because they have longer range weapons, I guess. And not very strong ones at that. There's honestly less damage coming at me right now than there was when it was just five frigates. You'll notice nothing's dropping any loot here that I, I don't believe anything until the last uh, the last enemy drops any loot in these sites, which is fine. The loot from the last guy more than makes up for it. I wonder if there are any other combat sites up in this system. There are. There are a ton of them. Lots of dens. I should go do some of those at least. So, I think they escalate into 5 out of 10s, and I don't know if I can do those. These sites, so far are definitely the best isk per hour I have available to me. Uh, first one should be going down right around now. Okay, second wave, we just have the same thing. I kind of get on a heading towards them so they can target me and not kill my drones. Oh, that's going well. You guys are killing this first one. So 
back to orbiting, get some radial velocity going here. Avoid as much damage as I can, because, I mean, yeah, I can keep my afterburner and my armor repair going for as long as I want, just indefinitely, but why tempt fate, right? I'm going to move back towards the center of the site because the boss will be spawning soon and I kind of want to get in close both to loot things quickly and because it's a big ship and being in close will help me uh, you know, I, I can orbit it and hopefully make it hit me less if you're in closer there we go a battle cruiser spawns We're going to orbit it at a thousand and call in our drones. I really should just be able to repair through this guy, no problem. See there, my drones are making short work of him. He's in the structure already. And there he goes. Okay. And there's no additional spawn. Uh, I've heard sometimes you get a battleship spawn after that. So the loot we got there. Um, got a Maller Cold Iron Skin and a Blood Raider Cerebral Accelerator. And this is what all of these sites uh, drop, generally. Is, I, I'm gonna get rid of that destination. Um, is a random skin, there's 50 some of them, I forget how many, and a Cerebral Accelerator. Now the skins I've been selling on the market, they go for, I, I mean, I've run I think this is like the fifth or sixth site I've run. Um, depending on the ship, I've seen them selling from, you know, a, a few million to like 10 or 15 million. Now, it was last night, the first night the event was up. So I'm expecting all of these prices on stuff will drop. But that's still, that was maybe half an hour of work, if that, in really a, a ship without good combat skills. So that is not bad. And then also a Cerebral Accelerator, which uh, last night was going for 20-ish million. Like 20 million plus. It was like, I think 21 million just selling to the highest buy order in Jita. Uh, so that definitely is worth a hell of a lot. 
and every single site drops a skin and a cerebral accelerator. So that's, you know, probably 25 mil or higher uh, average on these sites. Now, again, cerebral accelerator, I'm almost certain it's dropped since last night. I don't know whether it's going to drop to something pretty trivial since these sites are very common and, you know, everyone's running them right now. I, I don't know if it will become trivial or if it will um, stay, you know, 10 million or so. Uh, they're very useful, though, because what these do is they increase all of your attributes to make skills train faster. They increase all your attributes for 24 hours. as a number of seconds here, but that translates to 24 hours. You can see here is the one I have active right now. The first site I ran, I used it immediately. Even at 20 million, these are worth considering to save. Uh, I'm counting on the fact that they will fall, so if I go to Jita tonight and, uh, you know, their, their price is something above, like, 6 or 7 million, uh, then I probably will sell them. If it's down to, like, 2 or 3 million, then I'm going to start buying them. Because that will, yeah, you see I, my bounties there. I got 1.8 mil in uh, in bounties for the site. Last ship gives a quarter million. Um, now the battleship that comes in occasionally at the end, I haven't seen it yet, but apparently it drops a advanced cerebral accelerator, which gives you 12 of every attribute instead of 10. That, I expect, will be very expensive because it's rare among these sites and it's slightly better. Uh, so if you get one of those, my recommendation to you is to sell it. Anyway, I hope you found this video informative. I hope that these are still selling for reasonable prices when I uh, get to Jita tonight. Uh, so, yeah. Try running a few of these on your own if you're if you're adventurous, if you can fly a cruiser. I wouldn't recommend doing it in anything smaller because you saw that first uh, that first room like melted my shields, got halfway through my armor real fast. But if you can fly a cruiser, give these a try. Um, you don't need incredible skills or an incredibly large ship to do them. Thanks for watching and have a good one, everyone.